Happy hump day, everybody. Happy freaking Wednesday. It's about 5.30. Plane leaves at 7.30. Gotta catch the shuttle. First off for today, getting back to Oregon, getting back to the Jeep. For four hours of sleep though, I'm doing pretty well. It's pretty overcast today, but dang, it's nice out. I love the weather in San Francisco. Morning. So I got you set to leave the Portland at 7.30. We get 7.5, be right down here to your right, sir. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one. You too. 6.18, bags checked in. Off to a good start. 6.45, made it through security. Doing pretty good. 10 minutes till boarding. I have faith. Taxi back to base, and we are golden. Just going to the Air Force Base. What's that? The, the Air Force Base on the other side of the airport. I had to go black there going through the gate, but oh my gosh. Jade, how are you? I missed you. I miss your tires and your, your doors, your, your wheels, your frame. I missed your frame and your stupid freaking gas cap that I always lose. I missed you. I miss your right side, your rear side, and your left side, and your front side. Finally back at the Jeep. I'm excited. Now, true test, see if she starts. I have faith. It's not like the cold winter months where the battery gets drained. The fact that I didn't lose my keys the entire time I've been away from the Jeep kind of surprises me. The battery was, oh my gosh, son of a nutcracker. Battery was, this is gonna be in the way. She started. I'm happy. Oh, the quirks of the old Jade. All right, if you've seen my big announcement vlog, then you know what the freaking plan is for the next multiple years. I got a lot of planning to do, a lot of scheduling, coordinating. All of this will be brand new to me. Besides actually living in the Jeep part, normally I just make something up every day. Now things need to be a little bit more planned. I need to get an actual list together in order of importance that I need to knock out. Second off for today though, I'm gonna run to the YMCA, get a good workout in. It's still early in the day, it's like 10 o'clock. And then third off, if you remember about a month ago when I left the Jeep, the slave cylinder's going out. So I need to pick up a new slave cylinder. Fourth off, let's go get all the Wrangler mail that you guys sent. Really excited to see what you guys sent me. Really appreciative and really freaking excited.
noise and feeling every bump in the road. In between second and third off, I ended up getting some groceries. Right all yonder. So we're headed back to the marina. We're gonna drop all this crap off and then we're gonna get the fourth off. I'm a little rusty. Before I take those there groceries and throw them in my boat, a few freaking updates. First off, I remember that the slave cylinder I had possibly was still under warranty. So I called up the advanced auto parts and guess what, it was. So as soon as I bring the old slave cylinder back to them, I'll get my money back. That'll help me in the long run, for sure. Second off, my squeal, as you probably heard, is getting pretty bad. It's always been bad, but it seems even worse lately, or seems even worse today. Lately, I've been gone for a month. Craziness. So I got an idler pulley as well. I did buy an idler pulley a couple months ago, and I realized that the owner before me took it out, so there's nothing but a bracket there with an empty hole where it goes. So I figured, I don't know, maybe I didn't need it. I'm gonna try it again. I still need to get a bolt. So tomorrow we'll probably run to a hardware store and we'll try to knock out the slave cylinder and freaking idler pulley. And finally, third off, I finally actually have cell data right now. So that'll save me a lot of time running back and forth to the nearest town to upload freaking vlogs. I can stay here and I can upload and save time and get more done. So those are the updates. It's so cool. All right, the PO box itself is cleared. Just shove that in there. The post office is actually closed. They're closed. However, I called ahead of time because I knew it was gonna be late. And they said if I pull around back, I can still get my packages today. Yes. You guys are awesome. Richard and Verona had just got down to the marina. I had to go say hi to them two hours later. Of course, they hooked me up with some Corona, fresh deep sea fish, and some freaking eggs. It's great to have my Buck 110 back. Just sharpened the blade as well. Hopefully, I don't cut myself again. I'll be a little bit more careful this time. If you remember my buddy Peter in Missouri, I was there with him when he ordered this bad boy. He had a friend who witnessed somebody die not wearing a helmet while riding a longboard. Their brains splattered everywhere. So he got me this helmet. Try it on for size. Ooh, that's tight. Tight in a good way. Ready to ride now. Totally ready to ride. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Thank you so much, Peter. I'll be safe now when I longboard. I don't want to cut anything that's inside. Eat, sleep, Jeep. Awesome. I will definitely throw this on there. Because this is the story of my life right now. This is from David Tozer, one of my Patreon pledges. Thank you so much, David. Really appreciate it, man. This is also from Peter. Hi, Jakey Poo. Here's an awesome spork from Desi and Peter. They got me an awesome titanium spork. Thank you so much, guys. I definitely needed one. Let's skip a package or two and get on to a letter. Or an envelope, at least. 
There's no name on here, but it's from Tampa, Florida. Glow in the dark Triceratops. Arguably one of the best gifts you could ever send anyone ever. Thank you, anonymous sender. Something to keep you awake during the long nights of editing. Keep on keeping on. Also from David Tozer, a Starbucks gift card. Thank you so much, man. And back to a letter or an envelope with something in it. This is from William Young from Champaign, Illinois. What the heck did you send me, William Young? He sent me a dick pic. Let me know that I can stay at his place if I'm ever in Champaign, freaking Illinois. Thank you so much, man. The big caboose. From Jonathan R. Carathers. Carathers. Nice, man. Really cool. A new flexi mount, which I actually really needed one. All kinds of weird things going on. Sharpies, you know I'm gonna need those. 1,680 sticky notes. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Really appreciate it, man. All this stuff is very useful. I'll be using it right away. From Roger R. Gernt, who I do know. They're from Wisconsin originally. Oh, very cool. Wrangler. I wear Wrangler. Brett Favre, 2016. He made these himself, too. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Roger. I will definitely put these to good use. This is a really cool moment for me, getting mail from fans and supporters, gifts from people that believe in what I'm doing. I just want to thank you guys so much. Freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. All you Wranglers, you guys are amazing. Thank you again for everyone who sent me mail. You guys rock. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.